able to join me. What we're going to do now is take a look at quite a short and pithy clip about um, intervention and how that sits alongside the four stages of the Tupman model. Um, it's, it's over pretty quickly, uh, but I don't think we should underestimate the importance of it just because it's um, quite an easy piece to digest. So let's have a look, shall we? So for the purposes of um, just clearing up what I mean here by direction support, I'm seeing direction as telling you what to do and support is helping you do it. Um, and it's quite important that we we understand that within the um, forming and storming stages, just to help us through it, there needs to be uh, a higher amount of direction, providing focus and reminding teams of the messages, the values, the outputs that we're, we're looking towards. When we move towards the norming and storming stages, we can actually back off from that position and let things maybe grow a little more organically. I think maybe in the norming stage, um, there is likely to be a more blended approach of um, direction and support, moving away from that so that there is then more support and less direction as we move through norming and into performing stages. It's really important that we remind ourselves that there are times just within the cycle of what's going on that we will need to drop back into the high direction, low support, maybe as a way of responding to crises um, or taking on new work, new team members, uh, new partnership ar arrangements. But that should be fed uh, knowing that the people involved have got a good idea of the journey steps we take. So let's think about this in terms of where we are right now on the 30th of June in 2020 and what's proceeded here is that we've had the COVID crisis where the levels of direction were high in how we're going to handle this crisis. So the, the closing of the workplace, the move on to working from home, the furloughing of staff, high direction. As we are moving through the, the, the process, we're, we've, we've almost got into storming stages of you know, what is it we do next? What's our contribution to this discussion? Again, high direction. It's my best guess that this will continue until we reach either quite intuitively or by the fact that processes are now in place, the norming stage, at which point the high direction should evolve into higher levels of support. And as we move forward, um, maybe we're not quite sure what it'll look like just yet, that performing stage will see higher levels of support and lower levels of direction. Can you see that there's uh, a quite subtle wave going on here? Because we might have had pre-COVID a high performing, low direction, high support team that has had to quite naturally in response to the circumstances move to a forming storming team where direction is high and support is low. Well, I hope that's, uh, that makes some sense for you and we're now going to move on to how this uh, applies to leadership specifically. Okay, thanks very much indeed everybody and I'll just give you some closing comments. It feels very right for me to offer a view now and um, this model together with other models I compare it very much to um, the map territory, you know, the, the map doesn't describe the territory and taking that one step further uh, in, in navigation when we sometimes pick up what are quite amusing stories well they're amusing providing it hasn't happened to you we pick up quite amusing stories of um, people who have blithely followed sat nav directions even though they, they know they know through experience that the sat nav is wrong and yet they believe that the sat nav must be right because it's a sat nav and they end up in the sea rivers, what my streets, uh, places <laughs> stuck under low bridges. You, you get the picture. Um, what's on, on, on offer here is a map. There are some reference points and I think they're really useful for us to articulate where we think we might be now and what it is we need to do next. The conversations about them are the important thing for me. It's not a one to four process model. We tick that box, we move on to the next phase. So I hope that's given some sort of insights into why I feel the model is useful. It's a, it's a useful addendum, a great conversation piece. It helps us clarify, but it is not a process to be followed from one to four. Right, we've, we've finished forming, let's start norming. It just doesn't work that way. It's about developing intelligent conversations that 
again to re-emphasize, need to be aligned to our outputs, need to be aligned to our values, and need to be aligned to our clarity of purpose. What are we here for, at any rate? Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.